kid. No parents, no home. Running messages and picking pockets to keep my ribs from meeting my spine. One night I saw a man. Folks just passed him by like he wasn't there. I thought he must have something valuable, so I snuck up on him and made a grab. That's not for you. Please, sir, I'm hungry. Don't tell the hammers, I promise. What is your name, boy? Garrett. You have talent, lad. Let go of me, old man! To see a keeper is not an easy thing. Especially one who does not wish to be seen. We have a need for those as gifted as yourself. If you've grown tired of how you live, then follow me, and we will show you a different way. Leave me alone! As you wish. I caught up with him just before he vanished into the crowd. It was the beginning of a very long education. Welcome, young Garrett. In the nearby rooms, I will instruct you in the various skills you will need to survive. Please stay in the entrance area to each room while I explain the room's purpose. When you are ready to begin your lessons, proceed down this hallway to the first room. You must learn how to move unseen. Stay in the shadows. Avoid the light. The indicator on your screen will tell you how visible you are. Try to reach the top of the platform without being seen. Well done. I did not see you approach. Open this door to continue. When the door is near the center of your screen, it will light up, indicating that it is selected. To manipulate selected doors and other objects, use them. Good. Proceed down this corridor for your next test. Now you must learn to move quietly. Some surfaces are louder than others when walked upon, and moving quickly makes more noise than moving slowly. Listen to your own footsteps to hear how much noise you are making. The instructor will have his back turned. You must get to the top of the platform without being heard. Very good. I did not hear you traverse the room. Beyond this door is a hallway that will lead you to your next task. Now get your weapons. To pick up objects, select them by centering them on screen until they light up. Then use them. Choose your weapon now. Try readying your sword, and then your bow. You can always put them away again if you need your hands free. Now let's go out to the courtyard for some target practice. Ready your bow. Knock an arrow and draw back the string by holding down the attack button. Make sure you draw all the way back, or your shot will not have full power. Take aim, and when you are ready to shoot, release your attack. See if you can hit one of these targets. Good shot. Keep practicing if you wish. When you are ready to proceed, approach the training dummy and ready your sword. Swing at the target with the attack button. A quick tap will give you a slash. 
Move the tip of your sword to the left of the target for a left slash, and to the right of the target for a right slash. Hold the attack button down, then release for an overhead swing. Try both slashes and the overhead swing on the practice dummy. Good job. You're ready for a live opponent. To practice against your partner, enter the cobbled sparring area. Well done. Keep sparring if you wish. When you are done, leave the sparring area. That's enough sparring for today. Please walk over to the table. Would you care for some refreshment before we move on, young Garrett? Please pick up all of the items on this table. Cycle through your inventory to see the objects you have in your pockets. Once an object is displayed, you may use it. Have something to eat if you wish. Then you may proceed. The next test is waiting on the other side of the metal door. The door is locked, but the key from the table will open it. To unlock the door, select the key in your inventory. Center the door on screen until it lights up. Then use the key on the door. Good. Now head down this hallway to get to your next test. Now you will learn new movement skills. First, climb the rope by jumping onto it. Move while looking up or down to climb up or down the rope. Turn to change your facing. If you jump again, you will release the rope. Now climb the rope to get to the top of the platform. Well done. Run and jump across the gap to the other side of the stream. Good jump. This obstacle is easy to climb if you know how. First, move close to the wall. Next, jump to grab the edge of the wall and pull yourself up. Good job. I am most pleased with your progress. You have passed the last test for today. If you wish, you may stay to practice your climbing and jumping, or swimming, ducking, leaning, or crawling. When you are finished, you may return to your chambers by going through that red door. Farewell. The keepers were training me to be one of them, but I found other uses for those skills. I have a simple job planned for this evening. Break into a guarded mansion, steal another fat nobleman's priceless trinket, and leave quietly. Lord Bafford is out of town, and rumor has it that the captain of his house guard went with him as a bodyguard. The time is ripe for a bit of burglary. The front gate of Lord Bafford's manor is always guarded, and the main street is far too exposed. But Cuddy tells me there's a better way in, around to the side, more out of the way. One guard, and likely no witnesses to complicate matters. The piece Cuddy wants is a scepter, silver, jewels, the usual adornments. It should command a high price. Bafford, like most of his kind, probably keeps his treasures on the top floor of the place, close to his heart, and far from his servants. No point in waiting. 
I have Cuddy's old sketches of the place and everyone who's going to be asleep inside already is. It's time to begin. Too many to try to get by here. I'm going to the bear pit tomorrow. You want to come with? <laughs> Couldn't pay me enough. What? You soft belly. The bears have got these new muzzles with underslung cheek spikes. Last time I was there, there was a real eye gouge. <laughs> nah, nah. It makes me sick. When I was a kid. Huh. Surprised you're even in this job. Ooh, the blood it just turned my poor tummy. Shut up, you taffer. You want blood? You should have been there years ago. I tell you. The bears then. They were something to see. Those bears, they didn't need no cheek spikes and razor collars and paw hooks and all that knifery you straps to them now. No paw hooks? What'd they do? Just bump into each other? Huh! Nah! The bears back then, they had claws as long as your finger and wicked teeth. Bears? You're doffing me. They look pretty mangy harmless, long as they're not wearing harness. That's why I can't stand the pits now. You don't know what you've missed. They just don't make bears like they used to. Whoa! Killer bears! Would have liked to see that. <clears throat> Could you possibly be any more? Hey there, friend. What's How's it going? With a crazy get up.
since I'm in here, I might as well pick up something for myself. Inside at last. I've been thinking. The circuit really makes up security. So. What do you mean? What's wrong with us? Well, we're fine. But I've been thinking we should watch the outsides more. That's stupid! People to worry about, they're on the inside! No, then you catch them before they get inside, you taffer. Oh!
You can hide for long.
if he reads them or if it's just for show. What's that?
Make a noise now. Hello? <laughs> it's a throne room. How pretentious can you get? Here we go.
I went to Cuddy's place to deliver the scepter, but Cuddy wasn't there. He'd been arrested by the Hammerites. Apparently they didn't approve of his occupation, and I doubt they approve of mine. So hopefully they'll never catch sight of me when I break him out of their prison. Which is what I'm going to do. They're holding Cuddy in a mining complex carved out of a quarry. 
The quarries flooded, but the hammers still work the top-level mines and have converted part of the complex into a penitentiary for those who violate their tenants. An associate of mine was confined there and has provided me with a map. It would be difficult to get in by way of the main gate, but there is another option. The mines break the surface of a hill south of the quarry. I'll drop into the mines and head for the prison, which will be found somewhere uphill and to the north. The hammers don't venture into these lower mine levels because they're reputed to be haunted. I'd rather not have to do this job, but Cuddy's a reliable fence and I don't appreciate the hammerites abducting him. And he owes me money for the Bafford job.
all these halls would be close packed with novices, striving to learn our teachings. There are novices still. Identify thyself. Is someone there? And the word will be. You ask it to repour itself. Nay, you tear it down and begin anew. So shall it be with all my children, whether they be stone or flesh. Someone there. Hello? Show thyself. No one walks here now.
someone come? Vigilance is our shield. Well, I see nothing now. <coughs> halt! See someone there? All seems peaceful now. Has someone come? Who is the people I have to work with? So incompetent, so stupid, dust, so lazy. Intruder! such carrying on as this thief's pawn cutty. One would think these scum had never faced tribulation in their lives. For a time I thought Block 4 might never sleep again for his coughs. But he quiets now. Good. Death or Doran's twill be the same for him in the end. Closer, and thou shalt feel my aid. Is there a plague on these rats? Oh. <laughs> you're gonna be disappointed. Good thing you're dying, Cuddy, or I'd have to kill you for stiffing me. Again. Snap, snap, puppy. 
But I owe ya, so... Felix went after the Horn of Quintus, down the Bonehold, left me his notes. The hammers got him, put him in their evidence box. Loot collection, more like. Stairs. Officer's quarters. Once you're up there, in passage. If damp hadn't rotted my lungs. Someone come. to armor thyself against them. Hello? Show thyself. All is well now. Twas but the wind on the torches. Who's there? Hmm. Don't hurt me! No one walks here now. Because so many now build without consideration for the master builder. His mark is no longer on the light of the city and the taint of the tricks to walk. Uh, he's got a bow! So, if he weren't unconscious, it'd be simpler, but now I'll have to carry him out.
It was no doubt nothing. Back to thy cell, villain! Just the wind, then. Someone there. Thou shalt regret thine intrusions. Stand forth and speak thyself if thou be there. <laughs> Someone come. What was that?
Whence came thee here? Was that the- spend all those tithes. Didst buy his new knife from the Sheminovs, not our smiths. How durst he? Had he no shame? He certainly had to fill of shame when his blade did snap at supper. Ha! The Sheminov are shoddy craftsmen. Tarius has well learnt of it. Identify thyself. Didst thou see Did someone there? By what is going on over there? An intruder! Fall thee upon him! Take on and hither! Thy arm must be stronger to touch me! I should be the one to so hither to build this hand. I think there is take one. arms and hither. Vigilance is our shield that protects us from the squalid past. Knowledge is our weapon with which we carve a path to an enlightened future. <coughs>
Vigilance is our shield that protects us from our squalid past. Knowledge is our weapon with which we carve a path to an end. Identify thyself. Is someone there? Not by the builder. From whence came thee? Closer, and thou shalt feel. And the builder said, 
foundation is weak, do wail and gnash your teeth. Do ask it to repour itself. Nay, you tear it down and begin anew. <coughs> so shall it be with all my children, whether they be stone or flesh. Cuddy won't be needing this anymore. Who passes there? You've killed a brother! Murderer! Nothing now. at rest now. It was nothing. Oh, I see that. Oh, there goes. All is quiet now. Vigilance is our shield that protects us from the If thou be attack. there, be speak thyself. What in which evil is this? Paul murderer. said, if the foundation is weak, do wail and gnash your teeth. You ask it to repour itself. Nay, you tear it down and begin anew. So shall it be with all my children.
pissed at Cuddy for a good while after the prison debacle. But hey, you can't blame him for what the Hammers did to him. So I decided to go after that horn Felix talked about. Not like I had a whole lot of choice, really. The rent is due. My landlord's even tougher than the Hammers. The map's pretty specific about where the entrance is. Too bad it's not as clear about where the horn is. Felix did some scrounging before he left, and his notes say the horn is in the tomb of some nobles. The Quintus family. Guess I'll just have to explore. Felix, always helpful, also said that the catacombs are supposed to be haunted. I think I'll go make some inquiries about where a heretic like me can get some holy water. Always go prepared. way 
down.
Felix.
face. Leave. Or you'll be sorry. Thing I'm not afraid of heights.
some money to spare after disposing of the horn, so it seemed time to invest in some new tools. Farkas is one of the few merchants willing to risk selling to an independent like me, and his prices are steep. But the other choice is to let one of the so-called city wardens give me orders, and take a cut of my profits. They've been after me for years to join one of their stables, but I'm not interested. Maybe they'll get the idea and give up. More likely, they'll just ramp up the threats. Nothing I can't handle if I'm careful. And lucky. And my luck seems to have finally turned for the better. shot was meant for me. Yes, I'm sure it was Garrett in the window. <clears throat> that shot was meant for me. Yes, I'm sure it was Garrett in the window. He's dead. Let's head back now. These creeps are gonna lead me right back to whoever sent them to kill me, but only if I can tail them without them noticing me.
See anything now? Once and for all. Yorick tells me the hammers are gonna close down Crag's Bluff. Yeah, he's tapping you. Where are they gonna put the poor saps they grab? Dunno. Toss them into a well or something. Anyhow, they just don't have enough guides no more. I'm kinda sad. It used to be the power. Now yeah, they're just a bunch of guys wishing for the old days. <laughs> Someone making noise? Huh? Nothing Show making noise now. Show yourself. Who's there? In the shadow. Intruder! Help! I see the Must have been rats. Thank you. 
Come on out then! The most treacherous!
this? <coughs> Who's done this? What's way? going on over there? With the gears and blades and all? Yeah. Big mistake. Come home. Forgot to pull the lever. Then the missus gets chopped to bed. Who goes there? Take. Something move. Who's creeping hey. around there? Someone there?
What was that there? Help! Help! keeps these things as pets.
Is that you? Is someone don't hurt me? I was going to pay Lord Randall and his vase collection a visit, but the Downwind Thieves Guild beat me to the score. Word is that they haven't divvied the booty yet. Apparently their leaders, Donnell and Reuben, are arguing over the prized Sapphire vase. Sounds like they could use a third party to settle their disagreement. Since I'm no mediator, I'll just steal the vase from them. They'll be so busy blaming each other, no one will suspect an outsider. The Downwinders run a gambling den called the Overlord's Fancy, which operates under a nearby restaurant. The guild's hideout is beneath the casino. I have a rough map of the complex I got from sources from the inside. Once I'm in the Overlord's Fancy, I'll have to search for the secret entrance to the hideout. I have to be careful. The Downwinders know me all too well. If they catch sight of me, they'll know who took the vase. Assuming they don't just kill me for trespassing. Finding the vase may prove difficult since I have no idea where it is. Should be a hot topic of conversation among the downwinders. Maybe I'll be lucky enough to overhear where they're stashing it. Time to make a living. Sutter, it's me. Security is necessary to prevent exposure and dilution of talent. Do you want to argue with the lords? Now what's the password? Hand of shadow, foot of air. Open the door, okay? Well, now he hasn't given me the password. Are you taffing me? Security is necessary to pre- And I'm standing here listening to Dano tell you the password. Do you think he's gonna let me if I'm not in the guild? Or you think I'm lackwood enough not to remember it? Sutter, I'll put up with your airs a ways, but if you start putting it like I'm that much of a fool, there will be blood. Now open this door! Hey, huh? did you see that? Someone there? That was quiet. Hey. <laughs> I'm getting too jumpy. I spotted it! Now, Tapper! Huh? <laughs> I'm 
I'm getting too jumpy. See that? Someone there? so busy gambling their money away, they won't notice if I take a bit. Hey, I got you now, Tapper! so busy gambling their money away, they won't 
notice if I take a bit. find you in the dark. Hmm? Didn't quite catch that. I said, hit me. What's happening? <sighs> Guess it was nothing. Look at that. Well, it was nothing, I guess. Hmm. <gasps> hey, what's Who's that? that? Right what there. Was that? Ah. <laughs> It's Garrett! Yeah. Get over here! Help! <coughs> uh, people around here, I just don't care. I need some money. Hmm. Did I just see what I think I saw? Guess it was nothing. saw something. <laughs> it was nothing, I'm getting too jumpy. Mm -hmm. My eyes must be playing something. tricks on me. <laughs> What's that? Uh, hey, is someone in here? I just see what I think I saw. Huh. Too many damn rats around here. <sighs> hmm.
Well, it was nothing, I guess. Hmm. I thought I saw something. <laughs> You're a noisy one! I'll find- Stay right there! Ha! Got you covered, Tom! Well, it was nothing, I guess. Mm -hmm. Did I just see what I think I saw? <sighs> mm. <laughs> I, I, I'm harmless. <coughs> Leave me alone. Don't there he you is. move a muscle. Guards! Over here! Come on out and play! Guess it was nothing. <sighs> hmm. You're a noisy one! Well, it was nothing, I guess. I heard that. Stay where you are. <sighs> what there the he hell is? are you doing here? Oh, don't let him go. Guards! It's Garrett! Help. Guess it was nothing. Nothing, I guess. Sure. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> I heard. Hey, he's over here. You're a Get over here! That? An intruder got inside! It's Garrett! Get him! You're a- I got you now, Tapper! They fight over the vase. They stay out of my way. Yeah, but while they're squabbling, they ain't fencing the vase neither. That vase is just gonna stay locked up in Lord Donald's lair. Yeah, but it's not like it's doing Donald any good, since Lord Reuben has the key to the lockup. Ain't doing me no good neither. That sapphire vase is worth more than the rest of the score from Randall's combined. I didn't become a downwinder to work for free. I want my cut. <clears throat> Hold it right there!
glad it was nothing. <laughs> I thought I saw something. <laughs> You see that? Hey, you got you now, Tapper. noises by now. <laughs> uh, it was just nothing. Look, over there. I Don't you move a muscle! Now, <laughs> hey, was did you see that? Uh, it was just nothing. <clears throat> hey, you hear that?
What's that? Don't hurt me! and found out his precious scepter had been swiped. We didn't pull that job, did we? You taffer, if we pulled a job on one of Ramirez's people, it would be war. Well, who then? Probably Garrett. He's the only one sly and foolish enough to pull a job like that. What was that? imaginings. <clears throat> Who's there? D did you say something?
would have smelled better. What's that?
stopped having There! Fun. Don't you move a mu- Something's wrong. We're gonna have fun gutting you, boy! be playing tricks on me. All's quiet now. <laughs> find you before the guards do. Hmm. <clears throat> Come on out and I promise I'll take care of you quickly.
guess it was nothing. I got you now, Tapper. something. Guess it was nothing. What was that?
All's quiet now. Someone over there? Sit right there. Did I just see what I think I saw? Well, it was nothing, I guess. Freeze! Huh? Let's go. Freeze! that?
Now I can get my vase.
You!
Morgan's Tapper Boy. job last night heard he came in pretty late Did he get something good <laughs> don't he wish he's up in this lady's bedroom all quiet like when he hears feet outside he got caught <laughs> nothing so tame he can scarp out the way he came quick enough but he don't want to go till he's got something so he sweeps everything on the dresser jewelry candlesticks whatnot into his sack gets halfway down the stairs when the sack starts leaping about. What? He's cut the lady's cat, too. Cat claws a hole in the sack. Everything falls out except the cat. And that's halfway up his arm with claws every which way. <laughs> he had to jump in the river to get the damn thing off. Left a trail of blood and water over half the city just going home. <clears throat> I saw something. Freeze! <coughs> you saw huh? it too? <laughs> I'm getting too jumpy. <coughs> what was that? Hey.
Come out in the open at once. Side and Reuben on the north. If something goes down, we'll be caught in the middle of it. Those two don't quit squabbling and settle this. Reuben's gonna send out his boys to find out where Donald's safe is. And Donald will be out looking for Reuben's key. And you know the knuckle breakers ain't too picky about whose knuckles they break. <sighs> I should never have gone Union. right there. Mm. in the shadow there. Oh. 
Someone there? Is that you, Kevil? Oh well, sorry. Guess it was nothing. Huh? <clears throat> what? I, I don't have any money! Help! Help! <clears throat> Is that you, Kevil? <clears throat> Look there!
Did you see something? <clears throat> well, it was nothing, I guess. Hey. I was contacted by a woman named Victoria. She claims to represent a client who was impressed by the way I took care of Ramirez and now wants me to steal something for him. The target is a magical sword owned by a nobleman and collector named Constantine. Little is known about Constantine except that he is an eccentric new face in the city and mostly keeps to himself. Victoria says the sword will probably be on display, but it will be well protected by guards and security systems. She also mentioned that the guards are tough and organized, and the mansion is confusing to navigate in. The house was constructed recently, so I've had to piece together my own map from observation and hearsay. Sounds like the place is a bit of a maze. I guess if you're rich enough, you can build any sort of mad house to live in. This is going to be a challenging job, but it'll pay better than the last few I've taken. As usual, the front entrance is heavily guarded, but I've managed to find another way in. Of course, once I've picked up the sword, I'll still have to worry about getting back out.
Probably not. But don't soft up, though. Not me. anything now. that noise.
Nothing making noise now. Hello? There's an end. Hello? Over there. Is someone there? Hmm. Noise stopped. Guess it was nothing. There's an intruder! Ah! Too much coffees this morning. Don't try to run, Taffer! Someone back. Something move there? <clears throat> gotta stop jumping at nothing. Oh, guys, I've gotta get home to dinner. Who goes? Ah! Oof!
too much coffees this morning. I'm twitchy as hell. Seems clear. I saw something. Thank you. 
you! That's the last time I... Okay. 
dangerous today. I thought he'd a good mood. Yeah, I told you. Good moods. That's the worst. <clears throat> Need a good mood. Yeah, I told you. Good moods. That's the worst. Oh, what? Hey, ah, ah. Boss is dangerous today. I thought he'd a good mood. Yeah, I told you. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! They killed him! There's noise in about then. Ah! sword and get out of this crazy place. sword and get out of this crazy place.
Garrett. It's Victoria. I trust you made it back alive. You've done well, Garrett. Come with me and bring the sword. There is someone you have to meet. It's time for the payment you've been promised. Yes. A refreshment, Mr. Garrett. I'm in the possession of a superior brandy that has the most restorative effect. I prefer my payment in cash, not liquor, Mr. My apologies. I've been watching you, Mr. Garrett, so closely, in fact, that I'm afraid I'd forgotten we haven't actually met yet. I am Constantine. All this time I thought you were going to pay me. You've brought me here to kill me. But you have it all wrong, Mr. Garrett. Would it surprise you to know that it was I who hired you to steal my own sword? Yes. You see, Victoria and I are... Old associates. Yes. You were being tested, do you understand? And I must say, you more than live up to your reputation. You are quite an extraordinary thief. Testing me? What is it you want from me, Constantine? I am a collector, Mr. Garrett. But there are some items that are not available for purchase. They must be acquired using other means. In this case, the item in question would be best acquired by thieving. Not simple thieving, no. I need an artist like yourself. What exactly is this item? It is the gemstone called the Eye for its unusual... Appearance. Yes. Kept hidden in the sealed cathedral deep inside the halls of the scum Hammerites. Oh, but forgive me. You are, possibly, friendly with the Order of the Hammer. No. Fanatics make unreliable friends. Excellent. I am prepared to offer you quite a sum. A hundred thousand upon receipt of the eye. I don't see how I can refuse such an offer. Marvelous. Victoria can fill you in on all the particulars. And Mr. Garrett, the sword, keep it. You have earned it, but also, I believe you'll find it useful in your quest. Constantine wants is in the abandoned cathedral of the Hammerites. The cathedral is located in a section of the city that was deserted years ago after some kind of catastrophe. I've heard stories of the incident. Most are wild rumors about hordes of zombies and raging fires. Now that part of the city is walled off and no one's allowed to go in. Not that many people would dare to in the first place. Maps of the area are easy to find in attics and old trunks, but like all of them, the one I've got is over 50 years old. I'll make my way through the ruins to the Hammerite Cathedral and find a way inside. Once I get inside the cathedral, I'll have to locate the eye. Something tells me that this is not going to be easy, but for the amount I'm getting paid, I'm willing to take some serious risks.
Looks like this place was built by my old pals, the Keepers. I wonder what they're hiding in here.
of Earth is guarded by a foreign mages sect known as the Hand Brotherhood. They reside in a compound of huge towers where they practice their arts of earth, air, fire, and water. The talisman is likely kept in the Earth Tower, but there's little chance it'll be that simple. No doubt the talisman is heavily guarded and probably protected by magic. But mages love to write everything down. I should stumble on something useful about their precious trinket. I bribed some servants to get me a map of the common grounds, the best I could do since only the mages are allowed in the towers. I'll enter the courtyard just outside the central keep entrance. Once inside, I'll need to move quickly to find the talisman. I wouldn't last long in a fight against the mages.
Plays tricks with my senses. Hmm. as the only ones allowed in. Why won't they allow us into their towers? We're here to keep a watch on the commons and to deal with mundane threats. The mages can protect themselves. But what with all the secrecy? Even the servants ain't allowed there. These wizards trust anyone? I found it best not to ask questions. The gold that gives me answers all the questions I have. <laughs>
What was that? Hmm. Noise stopped. Guess it was nothing. Is this a vision? All is still. What vision disturbs me?
was a false vision. <clears throat> is, this a, is this a vision? All is not still. Sweet silence returns. Nothing. I shall walk the path. Is this a vision? The wind plays tricks with my senses. I shall build shelters from the wind. Is this a vision? Feel the countless waters, see the vast earth, and burn eternal fires. The winds are not at peace. All is still. I shall build shelters from the winds. Feel the countless waters. See the vast earth. And burn in eternal fires. I shall walk the path until my return to the eternal fire. See there. Hmm. Noise stopped. 
guess it was nothing.
Mysterious sounds. You cannot run from your the eternal fate. fire will return you. to the eternal fire. presence.
cannot be outrun. I stand unscathed. I have eternity. Take you. You cannot, you cannot change you my destiny, destiny, thief.
fire burns. Who's the thief? Someone there? very
I think I saw something over here. Nothing making noise now. Oh well, <laughs> too many imaginings. <clears throat> blows, fire burns, water flows, earth shakes. <clears throat> I shall walk the path to my return. <clears throat> So this is where the mages hide their dirty little secrets. crack a smile.
vision disturbs me. It was a false vision. <coughs> there. Galio's been holding out on the mages. Good thing he can't hold out on me.
here now. <laughs> Someone there? Who knows what it was? <clears throat> hey, Who's there? Did you see someone over there? Is someone there? Oh well. Is that you, Kevil? I don't know what that was. What? I surrender!
Who troubles this place? I hear your presence. Do you see death in the darkness? To retrieve the talismans, the prophecy is an ocean returning to shore. Little we can do to prevent it and prepare for its arrival. Dry and dead is much of the city. The sun will oppose and the cup will end in flames. It's the way of things. Civilizations will burn into the earth so that it may give life. Darkness I have shall take you intruder among us. Cannot hide from the inevitable. The shadows will not. I call upon the elements to smite you. <laughs> return to the eternal. It's true he has returned. We must, we must be ready. Rough waters lie ahead. Many will not survive. The shadows do not flee. You cannot run from your fate. I call upon the elements to smite you. Return to the Fire invader.
There's an intruder here! Keepers have hidden the talisman of fire in a place they call the Lost City. Some kind of cataclysm buried the place underground ages ago. The Keepers have sealed the access to the city, a cleft in the river bottom near the east side. If the materials in the library are right, the strange stone I found can be used to open that seal. I've also got a map. It's so old the edges crumble in my hands. It shows the city, or at least how it was back then. I hope the old place hasn't changed much.
How can the keepers keep this place a secret?
Anybody home?
What have we here? There is a strange presence here. The eternal fire will reclaim you. Do not flee. Feel the sting of my anger. Leva, do not flee. Was a false a vision. False vision. <coughs> I can build shadows from the wind. Look, is, is this over a there? It was nothing. shall walk the path till my return to the eternal fire. You cannot change my...
I shall build shelters from the winds, feel the countless waters. Oh. What vision disturb? Gather round, mages! End this threat! There is a false presence here. I have eternity to seek you out. You cannot hide from the inevitable. You cannot escape the inevitable. You can- You do not- to hide in the shadows is to reveal your fear, intruder. <laughs> Escape while you can. We wish to be left.
senses I shall walk the path till my return to is this a, is this a vision Darkness will not protect you for long. All is still. <coughs> what trouble is this? Fire burns. Escape while you can. You wish to be left alone. Until my return to the eternal fire. The winds are not at peace.
creepy. So oh, this is the lost city. It's not lost no more.
keepers stashed the talisman of water in a series of hidden caverns located deep below the city. According to their map, I'll find it in a shrine located in the lowest cavern. I don't expect to run into anything too threatening other than a few venomous spiders. However, the map does contain this note. Stand not against us, lest you feel the sting of ignorance's barbs. <laughs> Sounds like keeper talk for, we've rigged the place. An informant of mine, Geary, made a home for himself in these caverns after he lost his job tending the ticket counter of a nearby opera house. He should know these caverns better than anyone, so I'll pay him a visit to see if he has any useful information for me. There is someone. Ah! Hold! <laughs> Get back here, you coward! Where did he go? Damn! Don't make me come find you! Got you now! Someone there? Who is that? Hey, stop! Don't move! Ah! Got you now! Nice low pack! Taffer! Was that supposed to hurt? Ouch! Ouch! Ah!
guess I'm not getting any information from Geary after all.
Now what? fish. Oh no, it's a big fish, rather. Are you here to sing too? We'll reenact the memorable scene between Raoul and Valerius at the bridge. I'll begin. The city at night. Raoul, the handsome, young opera house owner, sings to the Lady Valerius. I, Raoul, do accuse you of using treachery to obtain your wealth. Uh, then Lady Valerius sings. I, Lady Valerius, have obtained the opera house, yes. Right from under your nose, you must kiss the ground underneath my toes. Now, I live here, under the opera, but I go back, stealing food and such as I need. She can't kick me out, not Raoul. <laughs> then they come down, looking for spiders, but they found the treasure from the shrine instead. Now, she has that, too. I've seen her with it. It has powers. You... you could steal it from her, yes. That would make her sad. Let's see. What would she sing? Ah, I know. Lady Valerius, weeping in her chamber, uh, sings... I, Lady Valerius, am so, so sad. Where has the treasure gone that once made me glad? You need a map? Raoul has a map. You need a key? You can get that too from me. Remember, our left at the sewer. To the right might look newer, that's the secret of the way in. Now go, go, go! Up, up the rope you go, why do you move so slow? Let us reenact the memorable scene again between Raoul and Valerius at the bridge. I'll begin. <laughs> Here, Rodrigo hit those low notes. We oh, no, not him ever. Oh, mm, 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 mm. The curtains went down on this.
This looks like the way in. Seems quiet enough now. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, you're in for it oh. now!
Was there. something Don't just move. there? So, did you read Cribb's latest? That gibberish is a waste of my art. Ironic, since I always considered your art to be a waste. And, to add injury to insult, I'm forced to wear costumes from years past. I can't believe the Opera House is still losing money. It's all these lower class people working in the ticket office and such. They steal whatever they can get their hands on. Valerius should fire all of them. For once, I agree with you, Christine. Scrapping the lower class would certainly clean things up around here. <laughs> but what will you do for food and shelter when they kick you out? <laughs> Taffer. I thought I saw something. The 
rats around here perform more than we do. Someone there? Harmless. Peaceful enough now.
I see there? Hmm. Nothing there now. Someone there? You can hide for long. I hope you like tragic end. Ah. there. Oh. Come out, you! I heard that! What was that noise? Oops. I guess it was nothing. Like tragic endings. <coughs> Come out, take the <coughs> thought I saw something. I uh, don't see anything now. somewhere. Don't 
Don't think you can hide for long! Sorry, guess it was nothing. <laughs> Who's there? D did you say something? Oh well, <laughs> too many imaginings. Was that there? I saw some. I, I don't have any. Mm. Someone there? Nothing here now.
there. is going on. <laughs> huh? I guess it was nothing. there. Oh. This says you're cleared. If there's any trouble, we double the guard on Lady Valerius's rooms. Not the ticket office. Because if I were a thief, that's where I'd go. Seeing as you're a guard and not a thief, you're clear on where to go if there's trouble? If there's trouble, someone needs to guard the cloak check girl. She's all alone, with, with no one to talk to. <laughs> when you're a captain, you can choose to guard whatever you like. Until then, let's hear it. Where do you go if there's trouble? Yeah, to guard that watery stone nobody cares about, except Lady Valerius. Good. When you're done moping, I suggest you get on with your patrol. <coughs> <coughs> to be seen now. I spy who dares fell wood from my domain. But this will make a nice little bonus. Who dares no, no, with gusto, and emphasize the word dares, like this. Who dares fell wood from my domain? I've got a better idea. Why don't you sing the part of Canandra Forest Princess tomorrow night? And while you're at it, why don't you find yourself another leading lady? Huh. Maybe I will. Fine. Untalented Taffer Troglodyte. La 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 Is someone- Guards! Who are you? He's armed! Somebody get him! Is someone there? Who made that noise?
rats around here perform more than we do. I'd better get some rest. I see before me. Guards! Guards! I see before Thief. me. Go Guards. after him. Thief. saw something. The rats around here perform more than uh, we do. These old buildings make too much noise.
What's up? Hmm? I thought I saw something. Hmm. I'm starting to see things. I'd better get some rest. <coughs> Guess it was nothing. There. What was that? Too much coffees this morning. I'm twitchy as hell. Seems clear. Who's there? Help! Someone! There's an intruder!
Getting the talisman of air will be an interesting challenge, but I'll need it if I want to get the eye for Constantine. It's well hidden inside the city's hammer temple, so I'll have to do some scouting around. Problem is, the place is fully active day and night. Not even I can stay undetected for very long. Well, they say that the best place to hide a letter is on the mantelpiece. With that in mind, I'll be going in by the front door, dressed as a Hammerite novice. That should be perfect, since novices aren't allowed to speak while on the temple grounds. My contacts can get me a novice's pass to get me through the gate. Once inside, I'll be free to take my time, explore the place thoroughly, and find the talisman. As long as I don't do anything violent or get caught somewhere I shouldn't be. Because as the new arrival, I'll be the first person they'll suspect if anything goes wrong. Present thy credentials, novice.
indeed our master. Surely not for many years. Not thou blind. He is old. The master forgers do jostle each other for precedence. I spy not on my betters. Tis in the builder's hands. Tis true, tis true. comes unto me. What? Ah! Where camest thou? Don't see why I should be the one to be put with these incompetent people.
Drop that man style that
Shalt not rob from the house. <laughs> Thank you. 
hand of the heathen shall consume he who has stolen. The sinners we take was to have no second chances. They were dispatched forthwith to explain their misdeeds to their builder. Our strength and resolve, it is not what it once was. And see what our weakness have gained us. Crime and sin reach to the very heights of the city.
shows himself.
I'll be able to break the wards on the cathedral. It's time for me to retrieve the eye and bring it to Constantine. Last time I was here, the eye was inside, in plain sight on the main altar. I just have to grab it and leave. But that won't necessarily be easy if the place is as haunted as it looked before. So if things get tough, there is another way out. Through the gate in the cloister, behind the cathedral. The sooner this ordeal is over with, the better. When I get paid for this job, I'm gonna retire in style.
ですよ
eyes. Can you escape with your skin? Welcome to the majestic and splendid Hammer Cathedral. How pleasing to welcome new initiates into our fold. I am Brother Muris, and I will be thy spiritual guide. I see that thou art tired from your journey, so I'll leave thee be. But if thou needst my help, I can be found down in the cloister. Acolyte, thou seems to have gotten thyself into some trouble, hmm? And from the looks of thee, I'd say thou art used to trouble. Well, I can help thee escape this desolate place, if thou wilt help me with something. Since thou clearly camest here to collect things, thou can start by collecting some things for me. All brothers have rosary beads, so thou need some too. Thou canst borrow mine. I think I left them in my room. I remember that it was so nice to look out over the fountain in the garden. So be a good lad and bring me my rosary.
wonderful looter thou art. Thou hast found my rosary. I have some other things for thee to do as well. Confound it, I seem to have misplaced my prayer book. Novice, please go get it for me. It's called the Prayer of Consecration. I don't have any idea where I was last reading it.
that an unsavory character such as thyself could be my salvation. Thank thee for getting that book for me. I need to find a candle I used when I was still alive. The last time I remember using a candle is the night of my death. I was in the workyard, where the well is. 
My personal possessions were hidden, but I think the candle is back there still. Yes, that is the candle I was using to see the night I died. It will do for our needs. I see that thou hast all of the items we need to perform the ritual of consecration. Meet me at my grave in the cemetery.
Let us begin, my friend. Wave the rosary over my tombstone. Now place the candle on my tombstone. Read the prayer of consecration. Master Builder, we ask thee to bless our brother who hath died in thy service. Forgive him the transgressions of his living days, and look with favor on his works in thy name. Plumb and plain, fire and forge, purify his spirit, and draw from him all which does not meet thy plan. Take him to serve with thee in thy home, where he may rest in peace eternal. Oh no! The holy symbol thou hast has not been blessed. Thou must find a way to bestow the Builder's blessing on it. When thou hast done that, return here. At last, my prayers have been answered. My soul is finally free. Acolyte, thou hast saved me from eternal unrest. But I need thee to help my friends from life as well. I've prepared their final resting places for them, but I need thee to place their bodies in their graves. The first is Brother Renault. He died in the cellar of the cathedral. Please, go get his body and place it in his grave. I do not know who thou art, but by thy hand I can finally depart this earth and go to the Builder's home. It is only fitting that I reward thee. In the winter tunnels beneath the cloister, seek thee a room with a mural on one of the walls. In the upper right-hand corner of this mural, spy out a hidden button. Press that button. Thou hast what thou wilt find there, and my full thanks. Farewell. Please bury Brother Martello. He died in the cathedral attic.
now I must ask thee for one last thing. These haunts who inhabit the bodies of my brethren, they must all be killed. Kill all of the hammer haunts and return here for thy reward. Kill all of the hammer haunts and return here for thy reward.
I can't tell you how pleased I am with you, Mr. Garrett. I simply can't find the words. But perhaps Victoria can help me in that regard. She has such a way with them. Yes, we are both so very pleased. Victoria? Even though the eye is defective. What? Victoria is quite right, Mr. Garrett. I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but this eye is completely blind. It's a rock. It's what you asked for. Am I going to get paid or not? Of course. Victoria, are you prepared to give Mr. Garrett his compensation? Bow to the woodsy lord and offer up your flesh eyes so that his eye of stone may see, man fool. Bids he then the spruces to sing her hymn and anthems, and the woodsy lord binders then fleshes to stone. Did you think those ancient phrases were mere words, man fool? Look at me! I am the woodsy lord, the trickster of legend. If you be thirsty, flex thing. Drink of me. If you be hungry, then feed, for I am the honey maker and the jacksberry. He am the leaf that feeders on the flesh of ones, them that calls themselves builders, and wielded up a hammers against him. My poor Mr. Guy, you will not live to see the sprawling glory of it. Your sacrifice is not yet complete. My lilacs and my thistlebades must feed and die. Stands he then in the greens and festive maw, and speeds he of his judgments upon the weeps and writhing manfolds. a stone rolling downhill. Now you must aim this remarkable momentum. It is past time for the balance to shift. They come. What? Wait! The trickster will not forgive you for doing what he could not. Nor, I trust, will you forgive us. Keepers. Looks like I better get moving or whatever those things are will waste a perfectly good rescue.
Entende? <risos>
father would be! Nixie Howard! Come out! 
I do master the earth, you do. Ha! <laughs> 
Good.
things were supposed to go. Constantine has the eye, and my eye, and I doubt he has anything wholesome planned for it. The trickster is real after all. I don't think anyone but those crazy hammers really believed in the old gods. Those crazy hammers. 
You know, it wouldn't hurt to have a few dozen heavily armed fanatics on my side just about now. If I drop by their temple and explain things, maybe they'll be so distracted by the trickster's return that they'll forget to hold a grudge. And even if they don't, I know how to get out of Craig's cleft prison already.
Rose.
Wake up, you faggot! I saw something strange a little while ago. Keep watch. The master thief. There is scant time to explain. The tricksters, foul beasts, have captured our high priest. Be on guard. I think there was something odd a while back. Wake up, you faggot! I saw something strange a little while ago. Keep watching.
hiding place cannot last. This is it. The Hammers say they've received word that Constantine's descended into his realm to perform a ritual with the Eye. The Hammers have built me a booby-trapped counterfeit Eye. If I can swap it for the real thing, it should cause him some trouble. If he doesn't notice me. I've never robbed a god before. It'd be a challenge.
Try that again.
Now that's big. Interesting.
Let's just disable that portal and give the hammers a fighting chance. Churning mud, cambers all, sea waves wash swampy squall, 
sewer slosh, drain pipe stall. Call the wave, call the blue, brings it forth, world of doom. noticed I just saved the world, yourself included. As we knew you would, as it had to be. Now I remember why I left the Keepers. And I remember why we let you go. What do you want from me? Have you come to congratulate me? Welcome me back to the fold? Very well. I will speak my piece plainly. You have accomplished that which was written, and yes, you've done it well. But there is no place for you with us any longer. Yet you will have a great need of us, and soon. I don't think so. 
I'm through with heroics. And with your kind as well. You cannot run from life as you did from us, Garrett. Life has a way of finding you, no matter how artistic a sneak you are. Listen, there is a book that you were not made aware of. I am here to tell you that it would be wise for you to read it now. But you can still read hieroglyphs. I do try to forget, but you keepers leave them everywhere for me. Yes. You have more friends than you know. Tell my friends that I don't need their secret book, or their glyph warnings, or their messengers. Tell them I'm through. Tell them it's over. Tell them Garrett is done. I will tell them this. Nothing has changed. All is as it was written. The trickster is dead. Beware the dawn of the Metal Age.